Hey everyone and welcome to another Sunday Showcase. Today we are here with a rather special one because this is something uh, rather short and unique because usually we do full habitats or we do uh, full zoo tours even which hopefully in the next week I will be able to do another one but today there was something popping up on the workshop that I've been following for a couple of days already uh, prior to its upload and this is the Casa de Leons um, by Vigoga and this is basically from the old building, or actually from the building um, of the Barcelona Zoo. And this is, he said, this Neo Mudeja, I guess this is how you pronounce that, building designed by Per Falques uh, is currently used as the administration building of the zoo, but used to house lions and other big cats between 1894 and 1924. Um, so this is a high piece count blueprint he says i'm gonna show you what that means i'm gonna show you so see this this one costs two hundred and fourteen thousands in game i'm gonna show you why and this is also why i admire this build so much you can see what's happening right now on screen this is just ridiculous by the way um let me just see if i can place this down once more uh i mean we don't even need to put it down but i mean just look at this craziness um it is absolutely gorgeous to look at um and the video because this is some it's on one hand it's a problem and on one hand it's the beauty of the game so this building over here obviously looks absolutely fantastic and way better than whatever you can do in game with the pieces usually but look at how many single pieces have been used so if i click on that one you can do i uh, can see 22,260 pieces let alone i'm just going to go in here and we are going to pull out one of these pieces just so you know what he used in order to build this look he used these wooden little pieces in order to create what he basically created over here um, and all these arches and stuff they only look so brilliant because they are absolutely fantastic in level of detail you know if you build these kind of things um, this looks almost like the perfect if you zoom out a little bit it looks like the perfect brick texture there's not much you can do with the in-game brick texture to get it that perfect to do you know I just wanted to show you this because this building for me it, it just kind of I don't know it just puts joy to my eyes simply because it's just like I mean just look at that if, if we just zoom away a little bit just look at the building it is just so perfect it's inch perfect there's nothing there's no z fighting the the depth in the pieces is just creating these tiny little shadows everywhere this upper hand here with the different types which almost looks like um the kind of you know um weathered glass patterns and stuff all over the place it is just perfection if we zoom off here, you can see this is how this is created with all these little little details. And I, I mean, I just, I just, I don't know. I, I could go over this for the whole video, which in fact I'm doing. This is going to be um, a, a one-off showcase. We won't do it that often, but I just want to show you guys how you can achieve stuff like that. Look at these, look at these roofs. They look, they look perfect, don't they? Like we don't have these small roofs in the game, right? Do we? No, actually, this is bamboo. This is just some bamboo pieces. Uh, we know that we can use bamboo pieces for roofs, but look at just how perfect it looks. And then together with those uh, classic trim roof ends, um, they come together. And then look at this thing. This looks like the perfect uh, Barcelona. I think it's, isn't that even the, the um, emblem of the city? I'm not quite sure, but I think it is because this reminds me of what uh, the club Barcelona has in their uh, football emblem. So I'm quite sure this is. But again, here we have all these little pieces in there. Uh, that are used to make this thing and again there is basically no z fighting going on like a tiny little bit over here but vigoga did a crazy job in making that all look fantastic then we have these metal rusted ro uh, rods over here that create almost like this uh, looks as if this is like a like a big old screw in there and just in general like the way he used the pieces together is just insane let me just also try to just select I just want to select the, the tower piece. I want to see how much pieces is this tower, let alone. Yeah, 888 pieces for this little bit over here. Oh, look. <laughs> oh God. Let me just zoom. This is just nuts. And we can... Okay, well, okay. This is this. Look at... I mean, if you once created this, you can easily copy-paste things. But still, it just looks so phenomenal. Let's go over here to the to these things. Um, I know that they also have a lot of pieces. But, I mean, just, just see... There are like these pieces in here that create these little blends and vent looking things. And to be fair, yeah, with the aquatic stuff, you could just put these things down as like a decal and stuff. But whatever, you don't need this. It's... 
gosh, I... Sorry, I'm so I'm so blown away by this. And the one thing that this does better than the in-game pieces is the depth in those pieces. I'm gonna show you why now. Let's just type in a brick, okay? Because this is what we we try to redo this now with the brick pieces, okay? So we have these things, and you can see they're already way too big. We have the smaller ones. We can actually take those in order to make that look similar. Let me just see. Uh, we're gonna have to do this. Uh, wait, I think we have to use this smaller piece in the front that is almost the same height, right? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this today um, to show you why this is so beautiful. Also, I love the the fact that he used. I think this is windows. Oh no, this is the breeze block. Okay, well actually, uh, we're gonna have to do something else then. Uh, let's do a plaster. Uh, I have to go out of the building. There you go. Um, I'm gonna use the plaster piece. I'm gonna use this plaster piece in order to create the ground here so let's do it this way i'm just gonna redo exactly this bit here so that you guys can see uh why i'm going so nuts over this uh simply because it's looking absolutely fantastic and i just want to show you why it is so much better looking than when you do it that way um so this is that and then let's go and create a quick building out of this just so you know and then we go again into brick and we go into the this is the Painted column. I don't even know if I can use this even because is that the same? Ah, it almost is. It almost is. But I think I want to use this one better because then we can at least. Uh, but again, no, no, no. This is this is again way too many pieces. So I'm gonna use this one, and we bring it there. We bring it like this. Let me just see that we assemble that nice enough so you you can't criticize that this is not looking nice enough. So I'm gonna put this here. And now we gotta have to find the, the color that is matching up with this yellow bit over here. I think this is getting there. A bit brighter maybe. Let's see. Oh, that's way too wait way, way too much saturation. Let's go into less saturation. Yeah, that's already that's already there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of where it is. Um shall we also we need to kind of create like a little piece in the middle just to give it just to give it this kind of uh, Border. Oh, we can actually use a smaller border piece there. Let me just go and use a plank. I just want to see that this looks good to the sides. You know, let's go and use this one. Uh, just making sure that it's not unfair. So I'm going to use the same side piece here. Um, just pull it all in here. There you go. And also here. So yeah, see the same. All right. And then to make it totally fair, we are just going to copy them a little bit higher. Just so you have a little idea of how it looks when you all... Yeah, well, whatever. It's not really the same height, though. I should have done this then a little bit more precise. But I think for, for the showcase reasons, what this video is all about, uh, it should actually be enough. There you go. Let's raise these things, too. There you go. So we have those two. And now you can see the difference, especially from far away. You can actually see how much more detail, how much more depth, and so little little kind of shadow catching elements you have over here. This looks like... It looks flat, okay? So this is the issue about these things. They just look flat. However, I would still mostly build like this over here, simply because of the piece count. Um, I, As much as I love it, the piece count is obviously, to me, uh, also relatively important uh, in order to make those bigger projects work. Um, you remember if I do stuff like the, uh, let's say, the movie habitat or the one-off builds, I also go crazy with the pieces like this, you know, there's no denial in that, but all over the place. Like, look at this. Look, look, look at this now. Look, I mean... Come on, there's there's just no comparison. This looks so much more perfect in terms of the game, in terms of the shadows and everything. And that just looks, even though it has the same appeal to it in terms of brick texture and so on, it just, first of all, these two don't match together. Uh, I would then need to use these brick, brick pieces in the middle here, like these ones, um, because they just don't work together well enough um, because of the texture. And also, it just isn't as tidy, it isn't as nice, and it isn't as much catching the shadow that it should. Now, deleting this, I can go back into and show you why exactly this is. So you can see there is a very, very, very slight offset, which is basically, it is almost like a bump map, bump map even though it's just not, okay? It's actually a real bump in here. And this is why it creates this insane texture. Like, I mean, just freaking look at this. This is just ridiculously nicely done. If you see all the little bits and pieces and I mean, come on, this is just, sorry that I'm, I'm, I'm geeking so much about it, but, but it, it is just perfection. It just is perfection. 
I think I'm gonna take something like that as a thumbnail, just just so to make a point here. God, this just looks phenomenal. And again, I I know how to build this. I know how much time it takes. I know how brilliant it looks at the end. But again, if you put three or four of these buildings in your zoo, it's basically starting to lag on most most ends, um, which is the big issue I wanted to quickly tackle as well. I love these builds. I love how crazy detailed they are, and I love showcasing them. But again, it's it's like this little bit of an issue that you can't really use it too much in your zoos. And I would just love in the future that the game handles these pieces even better. And one thing I would love to be able to is just to get the opportunity to bake these things together. I know that there is a way of doing it, and I know that this could be an option that basically what it means from a from a game's perspective is that you take this building and you tell the game to just save it as one 3D piece. So what the computer will then do is basically get rid of all of these vertices um, that you can't see. So everything that is behind you can't see. So it's basically becoming one piece, one shell, and that saves like insane amounts of pieces. The only problem with this is obviously then you can't edit it. What you could do though, and this is how I saw this in other programs, um, that the initial data is saved somewhere. And if you want to re uh, rebuild this or just edit this, you click on edit, but then it has to load in the data first. So it's kind of a little delay, but I think you can actually work with this delay way better than with all the performance issues. Yeah, but from the inside, there's not much to talk about. This is just a shell that you can use. And um, I see the reason why it is not a lion habitat anymore, because that's way too small. I mean, you could still use that as a shelter building if you want, but then you would need to build like everything around. Anyhow, that's it for today's showcase. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, crazy, rudy, positive rant about this insane building by Vigoga. Um, I hope you don't mind that I took this instead of something else today. Uh, I just find this building just way too good to not showcase. And now off we go to some other stuff. I am working just as a little... Um, Hint, I'm not sure if I will do this before the baby appears, but um, I'm working on another movie habitat. I finally found a movie that I wanted to do. Um, it's one of your suggestions, and yeah, we're getting there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope to catch you in the next one. And Vigoga, man, what a brilliant work you did here. Have a good day, have a good Sunday, everyone, and stay safe. See you in the next one, and goodbye.